Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record 60fps CSGO videos, also some basic editing and which render settings I use. You can find download links for the movie making config virtual dub and handbrake in the description, along with a little readme file that will help you install it. Now you can start CSGO, then press F8 to load the demo UI, then select your demo and hit open. Go to the tick rate of your frag and switch to the right player by using your mouse buttons. Now we need to record the frag once, so hit resume and then press F11 to start recording. This will record the video and sound, but in this case we only need the sound, so it doesn't matter what FPS you are recording on. To stop recording just press F12 and then go back to your frag using the demo UI. Now we want to record the video, so hit F3 to open the console, hit F2 to hide the HUD and then type in host frame rate 300, this is to record in 300 FPS, and then type in host timescale 0, this is to record it a lot smoother and fix a bug of lagging player models. But unfortunately it doesn't record the sound, which is the reason why we had to record the sound separately. And once you're finished, press F12 to stop recording and then go ahead to your CSGO folder. Here you should be able to find a lot of TGA files and an audio file for each clip. Save the first audio file to another place and then go to the second recording and drag and drop the first TGA file into virtual dub. Go to video frame rate and type in the frame rate that you used. In this case it's uh, 300. The rest should be default settings but I'm going to show it anyway because it might be different for you. To render the video press F7 or go to save as AVI and then just save it. It will start rendering and as this might take a while I'm going to skip it. Now open Sony Vegas and drag and drop your video and audio files, but as we recorded them separately we will have to synchronize them. I always do this by zooming in, then find a spot where the player shoots and try to find the exact same shot in the audio file and match it. Now you want to make sure to have Smart Resample enabled. Right click on the video, go to Switches and it should be set to Smart Resample like you can see here. To record the video select the part that you want to record, hit Render As and just copy the settings that you can see here. To finally compress the video file I use a tool called Handbrake, open it and then import the preset that I'm going to link in the description. The key factor here is the quality slider. I always use values between 10 and maybe 15 depending on the video. A high value means lower video quality and also lower file size, while a low value means higher video quality and bigger file size. So if you have a short video you can go for lower values, but if you have a long video I would go for higher values. Just play around with it and try some different settings and then go for what's best for you. Now you only need to open the video file, choose the output destination and then hit start to convert the video file. Finally, I hope this really helped and here you can see the video file that we just created, but of course the other ones are created the same way. And if you want, you can send me your video links so I can check them out and give you some feedback. And if you have any other questions, just go ahead and ask them, I really try to answer them all. And now thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon, goodbye.